Let's take a look at question number three in the sample exam. Um, this one is a um, question about the Bohr model of the one electron system. And when we talk about the Bohr model, just a quick reminder, that's the one where you have a nucleus in the middle and you have these orbits, right, that surrounds uh, the nucleus that you can find your electrons in. So your electrons, say, could be in this orbit, and then it could fall to a lower orbit. And when it falls, it will emit light. And that light would have a certain wavelength, which we can calculate using the energy of photon formula hc over lambda now this particular model works for anything with one electron so whether it's the hydrogen atom which is typically how we start using this model or any ion with one electron which is what the lithium 2 plus ion is so if you look at lithium lithium has three protons and three electrons in the atom state but because we have lithium 2 plus this guy would have three protons and one electron so that means that we can use the Bohr model to to figure out the energy transition. The Bohr model, the equation that we use to calculate the energy transition, remember is this equation right here, which is negative RH times Z squared, which is the atomic number of that element, one over the final orbit value squared and minus one over the initial orbit value squared, okay? So that would give us the actual energy that the electron releases when it falls from, as I said earlier, a higher to a lower orbit. And once we have that value, Value, we can set that equal to the energy of the photon that's emitted and of course the photon is going to be emitted at a certain wavelength and to calculate the wavelength we can then set that equal to hc over lambda so those are the steps that we're going to do to solve this problem first we're going to just calculate our delta e so our delta e in this case would be negative rh which is just this value and then z squared our z for lithium is three as we said earlier so it's going to be three squared and then one over the the final orbit we were told is two the initial orbit is three and all that calculation would give us negative 2.723 times 10 to the minus 18 joules so that's the energy released by the electron and that means that the energy that the photon would come out with would be that value but then it will be positive and the way you think about that is you can say that the photon absorbs the energy from the electron that's why it's positive for the photon and this should equal hc over lambda and this should equal h hc over lambda so to solve for lambda it will just be hc h of course is this value speed of light is this and then divide that by the energy of the photon that we got in the earlier calculation cancel out the appropriate units we get 7.3 times 10 to the minus 8 meter or 73 nanometer and so we scroll back up that should equal that should be d as the answer